All right, so we've learned how to measure lungy distance. Now, um, let's look at, now let's look at something, uh, something similar. We're gonna look at refining our lunge. So something that's probably a good exercise to do at home. Um, one thing actually, if you want good sort of at home, you know, fencing exercise, but you're not particularly fitness orientated, which I know some of you are, um, just doing 10 lunges on each side. So, you know, 10 on your right side, 10 on your left side. If you have any other sides, do the 10 on it as well. It's short, it's quick, um, but if you do that multiple times a day, you're gonna develop your lunge really well. Uh, but something to do when you're refining your lunge is, I find, is practice with the following cues in mind. So these are kind of the most common cues I give to improve people's lunch. So what you do, come on guard. And the first thing I want you to focus on is pushing your knees out, like pushing your knees as wide as you can. So you see me from front on, this is my knee in, I'm gonna focus on pushing it as wide as I can, really, really pushing wide and holding that. And we're just gonna do a couple of lunges um, just a couple of lunges doing this, but we're going to pause when we get to full lunge. So pushing your knees out, pushing your knees out, keep on holding your knees out as you lunge. We're going to sit here for a few seconds, probably three, except not for the first one because I'm talking too much. And back and keep pushing your knees out the entire time. Um, and I want, what I'm, you're looking for specifically is more stability. See if you feel more comfortable, particularly at your full lunge, ex your full um, extension. So pushing your knees out. Extend, lunge, knees out, back, and again, extend, lunge, knees out, back, knees out, extend, lunge, keeping your knees out, back, and see how this feels. Um, if it feels really odd, like I'm finding it quite hard to get proper retraction because my knee position is normally okay, but pushing out too far kind of messes with things. Um, then this cue is probably not going to help you too much. If on the other hand, you're finding, you're finding, particularly when you get to full extension, you're feeling really, really stable, it's probably a sign that your knees are too far in. And if you're feeling really unstable, even when your knees are being pushed out, you probably need to stretch your, uh, do more like um, groin stretches to build up some flexibility there. So, you know, that's kind of something for you to work on, you know, give you a bit of homework. So it's going to come forward a little bit. Next cue is I want you to squeeze your buttocks together. So basically, imagine you've got like a walnut between your butt cheeks and you're crushing it between your butt cheeks for, I don't know why you crush a walnut between your butt cheeks, but that's what I want you to imagine that you're doing. Um, or, you know, like, if you've ever seen um, the Gal Gadot Wonder Woman film where she's got um, a sword down the back of her dress, um, there's an illustration of her like holding the sword with her butt cheeks. So. I don't know, maybe, maybe imagine you're holding a sword on your back with your butt cheeks. So I don't know, but just the point is squeeze your butt cheeks together. I want you to keep them squeezed and keep them squeezed and extend, squeezing, lunge, retract, and keep them squeezed and like stop squeezing them about the point where you start to push with your back foot because that will help you run forward. We've got a quick chat message. So I might just make sure that's nothing dire. So Melissa suggests turn charcoal into a diamond. Um, if you can do that with your budget, I'll be very impressed. But yeah, that kind of idea. All right. And specifically what you're looking for with this is a little bit more stability, but the main thing you're looking for is explosiveness. Because I normally give this cue for explosiveness. I also realize that this is a cue I needed. So squeezing your butt cheeks and lunge. Butt cheeks, lunge. Butt cheeks, lunge. Butt cheeks, Lunge, butt cheeks, lunge, butt cheeks, lunge, and butt cheeks, lunge. All right, so think about how that felt. Um, if that felt better, like you felt you were more ballistic particularly, um, or even if you felt more stable, then whilst you're practicing your lunges at home, doing your 10, lunge, your 10 lunges every sort of you know, half an hour out break, you're taking what's working at home, Squeeze your butt cheeks, you know, make a diamond with your butt. Please don't take any of this out of context. 
like I don't want an out of context montage of the stupid shit I say in these lessons. Um, all right. So next cue I find helpful is I want you to think about your hips. I want you to stick your butt all the way out, all the way back like a normal duck. I want you to, then I want you to rotate your pelvis and push it all the way in like you Mr. Bean. So Donald Duck, Mr. Bean. Donald Duck, Mr. Bean. Donald Duck, Mr. Bean. I feel ridiculous. Now what I want you to do is go all the way out, all the way in. So all the way from Donald Duck to Mr. Bean and then go back about halfway and relax. And what that should do is put your, um, put your butt or put you, give you a neutral spine. Get, get it so that your, your bottom vertebrae are properly stacked um, beneath your uh, other vertebrae. And then I want you to relax and, realize, and feel if your butt moves. Um, you can even like put your fingers there between the you know, rotated position and relaxed position. And what you might find is that your butt is not sitting properly beneath your spine. Um, like it's not sitting perfectly under your spine. It's, you know, it's sort of slipping out a bit, which is pretty common if you uh, spend a lot of time sitting down in front of a computer like I do. Um, in which case you're losing a lot of stability that you could get from your spine and instead needing to get that stability with, your, with muscles that could be used to make you lunge better. So let's come on guard. All the way to Mr. Bean, all the way out to Donald Duck, back to Mr. Bean, back to Donald Duck, through to Mr. Bean, and then halfway back so that you're feeling fairly structured. Um, you know, if you want to put, put like a book on your head um, to see if your spine's stacked properly, you could possibly do that, maybe, I don't know. But the point is you should have your butt under your spine. And now let's just do some lunges. So I'm just going to call lunge and I just want you to lunge. So lunge. Lunge, 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 and lunge. All right, so think about how that felt. You're mainly looking for stability, so you might even want to practice that, um, pausing at full, at full lunge extension before you come for like a second or two, just to see how stable you feel. But these are the most common cues I give to enhance people's lunges. And to be honest, without, um, you know, without actually um, seeing any of you in person, this is the best I can really do in terms of coaching. And I'm very sorry for that, but this is the world we live in. Uh, the final thing that I want to advise is some exercises. So this is what I do when I want to take like a five minute break from work, is I get up, I come into my fencing stance, and the first thing I do is I just slowly squat down and slowly come back up. Down and up. And normally what I do is I put my back foot against the wall to stop it from turning out like it is. But now I'm just going to hopefully be able to stop it turning out through sheer willpower alone. But yeah, just squatting all the way down and coming all the way up. Um, and what I've been doing is I've been going to the point where I started at five, um, five reps each side um, with like a minute break in between. And then if that's and then if I come away from that not feeling tired, I then do 10. If I come away from that, not feeling tired, I then go, I then go to 15 and so on. I basically keep going up in increments of five until I'm feeling tired after, um, until I feel tired. Not, not, this is not sequential. This is, you know, the first set of the day, um, you know, I'll do five. Then the next set of the day, which would be like an hour or two later, I'll do 10 and so on. Um, that's just helping me find my sort of my limit, which is about 25 at this point, to be honest. Um, yeah, just do that, do that both sides. So make sure that you do it, you know, you're doing both sides equally so you don't end up weird and lopsided. Um, the other one that's fun is you stand, feet shoulders apart, facing forward, and you drop all the way down, bounce up into a stance. All the way down, bounce up into a, the other stance. All the way down, bounce into, into the other stance again. All the way down, bounce the other stance. And you know, do that. Um, so do start with five each side. If you're not tired from that, try 10 each side the next time. And so you go up in equivalents of five. This is just a good kind of at-home exercise. This one's more about building up explosive, like um, explosive speed, whereas the squats are about building up stability. Um, although you probably want to do it both. And if you're getting really feisty, like you're finding that the bouncy exercise is just not doing it for you, what you can even do is starting shoulder width apart, 
down, up, lunge, down, up, lunge, down, up, lunge, down, up, lunge, and back to guard. And same deal, we escalate in lots of five. Um, but yeah, I find that's a really, really good at home exercise. And if we all do that during quarantine, we'll come back very unpracticed at fencing, and, except we'll have these incredible like super lunges, which will be great. All right, so before we move on, are there any questions? I'm just gonna quickly check the chat. Okay. Yes, oh, okay. yes, as Kirk pointed out, um, if you have bad knees, this might be a bit difficult, but even just um, with the squats, do the slow squats, um, just do them as low as you can. And if that's like, you know, if that's just, you know, like, you know, even a quarter of the way down, just doing it slowly um, and letting your body weight stretch you is a really, really good way to do it. With the explosive ones, um, that's maybe something you want to look up to. All right, cool, so no other questions. Might just um, pause the recording.